Hello again. This is Bell's Books, and we can be found online at abebooks.com. So this is the second video I'll be bringing you of children's books that teach life lessons. The first on this list is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. This is a best-selling story for younger children. An amusing caterpillar eats his way through the pages of the story, growing and growing, until he eventually emerges from his cocoon as a beautiful butterfly. The story teaches children about the benefits of eating well while shedding light on the stages of a butterfly's metamorphic life. The second book, The Mixed Up Chameleon, also by Eric Carle, is a colorful and humorous story about a chameleon that isn't happy with his appearance and wants to look more like his friends. He finds he can change his size and color, but after trying on various looks, he realizes that he's perfect just the way he is. The story teaches your child that everyone has his or her own unique traits and characteristics. The third book is Alexander and the Terrible Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Forst. This chronicles one little cranky boy's day from waking up with gum in his hair, having lunch with no dessert, a cavity at the dentist, lima beans for dinner, and kissing on TV. Your child will love his adventures while learning the ultimate lesson. Things don't always go your way. Everyone gets crabby when they have a bad day, but luckily it only lasts for one day. The next book is Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hankies. This helps children cope with childhood teasing and self-esteem issues in an honest and funny way. A little mouse named Chrysanthemum thinks her name is perfect until she goes to kindergarten and meets Joe, Sam, Max, Bill and Victoria, who tease her unmercifully for being named after a flower. Finally, a music teacher with a flower name of her own makes Chrysanthemum feel special in class. The students realize it doesn't matter how many letters are in a name and that acceptance makes everyone feel better. The fifth book is Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. By Kevin, Ke Kevin Henkies. This teaches children about taking responsibility for their actions and the power of forgiveness. Lily loves school and her teacher, Mr. Slinger, until she gets in trouble for showing off her new purse, movie star sunglasses, and shiny quarters outside of sharing time. Mr. Slinger confiscates her treasures, and Lily's anger leads to revenge and eventually regret over her actions. Your child will learn that it's never too late to say you're sorry when you make a mistake. The sixth book is Sylvester and the Magic Pebble by William Steig, a Caldecott medal winning animal tale. This follows the adventure of Sylvester, a donkey who finds a magic pebble one day that can make all of his wishes come true. Well, unfortunately, a fierce lion frightens him on his way home, and he foolishly makes a wish that separates him from his family. When Sylvester is unexpectedly reunited with his mother and father, he realizes a valuable lesson. You should always show love and gratitude for your family. Sometimes family is all that you need. The seventh book, A Chair for My Mother, by Vera Williams celebrates the spirit of a poor yet loving family that suffers a tragedy. A fire destroys their home. Rosa, her mother, and grandmother are forced to rebuild their lives. They have the basic furniture that they need, but her mother dreams of buying a brand new comfortable chair where she can sit and relax. The three women save their coins in a big jar until they have enough money to buy the comfortable chair that Rosa's mother deserves. This heartwarming story spotlights the love in a family 
and the importance to work hard to achieve a goal and how the generosity of others can lift us up. The eighth book, The Lorax by Dr. Seuss, published in 1971, teaches children about the significance of taking care of our environment, from the trees to the animals to our waterways. With cleverly crafted characters and colorful illustrations, the Lorax warns of the dangers of pollution and industrialization. Progress versus the environment's natural beauty continues to be a challenge, making this story eternally relevant. The ninth book, The Great Capote Tree, A Tale of the Amazon Rainforest, by Lynn Sherry, is another beautiful story that will help your child develop a social conscience about our environment. A man with an axe enters the forest, bent on cutting down the giant tree that is home to many animals. Suddenly the heat overcomes the man and he mats at the base of the tree. The animals come to him one by one and tell their stories of their life in the rainforest. They hope to influence him to change his mind and leave the tree alone. The illustrations and words in this book are breathtakingly beautiful and fun to read aloud. And the last book is Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. It encourages students to find success and self-confidence within themselves as they journey through life's ups and downs. This book is perfect for life-changing events and even graduations from preschool. This inspirational story speaks of seeing new sights and soaring to great heights as they fulfill their wildest dreams. Okay, so thank you for joining me for today's video. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe, and take care until next time.